Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we defeated our Hinox for the first time, it was a bit stronger than I was expecting to start off on, in terms of Hinoxes. But this time, we're going to be uh, completing everything here, basically, probably. Link, it seems that I was wrong about you. Saving Divine Beast Varuta's for, uh, form there. Even though we lost Lady Mifa, it seems we she can still help you fight against Calamity Ganon. Oh, I am sorry. I did not introduce myself sooner. I am... Jayato. I don't think that's how you say his name, but anyway. I am a historian who studies Zora history and preserves it for future generations. Even so, this stone monument that King Dwarfin supposedly wrote is torn to pieces. Most likely, the ten stone monuments outside of the domain are in the same awful condition. I'm thinking about collecting the com contents of all the stone monuments and compiling them into a book. But with these old legs and fins, traveling to all ten stone monuments will take a great deal of time. That is why, Link, I'd like to ask a favor of you. I'd like you to find all ten monuments around Zora's domain and tell me what they say. Okay. Oh, thank you. You are truly a lifesaver. How reassuring that the champion will search for these monuments for me. I have it on good authority that among the stone monuments, one has the location of some treasure written on it. If you happen to find said treasure, feel free to keep it. Uh, feel free to keep it. It will most likely be something that Azora wouldn't need. Yes, you'll find the ten stone monuments around Zora's domain. I believe in you. In fact, I'm counting on you. Well, let's get started then. Uh, okay, I'm gonna be writing this down, so I'm gonna be right back. Um, on second thought, I might just read it out and try to guess as much of it as possible. I'm I definitely don't know all of it, but I can make out parts. There there's some some words that I don't actually think I could guess. But that was probably good. Anyway, History of the Zora Part 7. The hero who defeated the Lionel, as told by King Dorfan. There was a time when the people of the land were threatened by the I don't know. Drain? <laughs> no. I don't know. I don't know. Beast, Lionel, who lived on, uh, I think it's Polymus Mountain. Am I, am I, has it been? Am I, have I been saying Polymus wrong? Whatever, whatever it is. But one Hylian drove uh, the beast back and reopened. Ugh. and restored peace to the domain. The Zora Helm was, uh, uh, the Zora Helm won in this fight is not, uh, is not north of, in the, oh my goodness, I really don't know all of the things. I have taken the time to write it all down before. Rain's near the lake. It's something there to... Oh my goodness. I really can't make this out. Time has taken its toll on this. I don't know what to do about this. I really don't, but anyway. I was hoping that I could just write it all down and then figure it out, but I just, some of those words just don't seem to fit well in anything. I could look it up, but I feel like that's cheating. Anyway, we're going to be spending a while looking at this if we don't actually get this to work now. Maybe. Anyway, let me look at my map, because we have two other markers that we can look at. I'm going to try and read them. I really can't, though. Oh my goodness. But anyway, these 
There's those, that's, I'm pretty sure those are three that we can go to. Might go to, the, should I get the one down, up there here first, or the one down there first? So we have part seven, at least. We know where part seven is. But everything else is just completely unknown. Maybe I'll try spending more time on it off screen or something and then actually read it out as best I can in order, maybe. I don't know. History of the Zora Part 3 Miracle of the White Scale, as told by King Dolphin. Our scholars say that in, this, in the distant past, Zora's domain had a king with no special talent for the art of war. What he lacked in skill with a blade, he made up for in love for his people and especially love for his queen. One day news reached the king of a horde of monsters gathering in Zodobon Highlands. The king steel, steeled himself for war to protect his people, but the queen knew how ill-suited for the task he was. Worried for his life, she drove one of her own scales wove one of her own scales into his armor, hoping that her love would protect him in battle. It seemed that it seemed for a time that the tide of battle favored the Zora, and that all would take make it safely home. But the cunning of the Zalfos grew general uh, saw an op opening and seized it, driving the king's forces into a corner. Just when the general's sword was ready to crash down upon the king, a miracle took place. An errant sunbeam reflected from the scale of his armor blinded the Lizalfos, stopping the death blow from falling. This was the change the king needed to rally his forces and turn the tide, taking down the general uh, and securing victory. This came to be known as the Miracle of White Scale, a scale that only female Zora possess. It was this miracle that began the tradition of the of Zora princesses crafting armor for their future husbands. Very interesting. Not that it really matters for what we're trying to do, but I okay. I think I'm pretty sure if I just read them all, then I can talk to the guy back at the thing, and everything will be fine again. Now, there was this actually? Yes, it was. Okay. So we can actually track this quest, even though he's, he's not going to show me where everything is. I should probably mark those as pins so I don't actually accidentally uh, remove the, the markers. Because if I go to where they are, they will act, it will mark them off. Is that a thing over there? Is that a Korok? I don't think it is. It's just a bit of stuff. Oh my goodness, there's so much area to explore here. It's probably fine. I will figure this out eventually. The ones that I've worn down are the ones that I really need to worry about. I wonder if the stone monuments that I read... Like, I, th I think that those ones are counting, but what about the two other ones that I had when walking up to the domain in the first place? I wonder if those two count, or if they don't. I think there are a lot of chests in the water around here as well that we can use magnesis to get them out. But I don't really need to look at that. What I really need to look at is going up here and getting this rock in the right place for another Korok. So let's do that. Let's mark that off. That's our 40th Korok. So we've used about 13 of them for upgrading our storage. Bless me. I have a feeling this is going to take a while. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a long while. This is not something that I can really make go faster. Okay, let's just try to use the wind to go quickly through here. Somewhat. Definitely couldn't be down here when it was raining before since the pre surfaces don't really work for climbing. Let's go. 
Gonna follow up this path here and see where it leads. Hopefully, to more information. Also, I think there's another one on the other side that I passed along the road. And I looked at the direction I think it was in, but it didn't actually go that way because I wanted to actually make it to Zora's Domain at one point. Since Zora's Domain has just overtaken everything. But then the Great Plateau took a while as well, so... Okay, this leads back to the main road, actually, which is good, I suppose. But is there any more... Things to look at around here, maybe. Maybe if I keep going further up. There's a lot of areas to explore. If I go up this way, will it lead to another one? That is my question. Is there another one, like, up here? It doesn't look like it. So I might just... Did I go over here? I feel like I would have... But it looks like an area that's easily missed, so I'm going to check up here. Just a little bit more. That's a different type of... The Zalfos. I'm pretty sure I've taken a picture of it already, though. There we go. Hey, my bow broke. Can I not do that, please? Ow! Just shooting at each other? Oh my goodness. Not even that far away from each other. The Zalfos tail. Oh, I just... It just went away. The severed tail of a Lizalfos. It, uh, it continues to wriggle even after being separated from its body. That kind of vitality makes it highly valued in ingredients... As an ingredient in elixirs. Don't, don't do that. Also some bombs around here that we can explode, I suppose. Silver rupee, thank you. How much of this have I taken pictures of? I haven't taken a picture of a Lizal's shield. Not this one, at least. A common shield found among Lizalfos. It's made of metal, but its sloppy craftsmanship offers poor durability. As most things do, apparently. I really want to do it. Oh my gosh, I'm on fire! Literally. Oh, hey, that's a roasted bass. Um, I have to eat some of that. Okay. Now, did I take a picture of all this? Sliding. Okay, it seems like I'm all good now. But it does seem like there's actually more over this way, maybe. There's a bit of grass at the very least. I don't think I've ever found... I'm, I'm fairly sure i found all of the... Oh! Oh! Korok! No, Octorok. Water Octorok. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get the other one. Ow! There we go. wonder if they were just here to be used for food for the Lizalfos. That would make some amount of sense. Now, do I have a sledgehammer still so I can break this open and not have it go everywhere? Yes, I do, and that's just a regular deposit. Oh my goodness, I remember being all the way over there ages ago. Is that a... That's a Korok, okay. I might mark that, or I might... No, I can get it and come back, probably. Actually, probably need to go elsewhere and look for things elsewhere. Anyway... I think this is actually where I was looking at going, like, ages ago when it was raining. But I didn't think I could make it up here safely. That well, at least. So, let's just grab this. And let's put that in there. There we go. Need to mark that off. Korok 41. Now, I wonder if I need to go up... Over there. Probably not, because that's where our router is. But there's look like there's a few platforms over there that could be important. Or could not be important. Who knows? How about we go over here? Just as a random note.
Okay, well, now that I'm here, the reason I came over here is to go up and have a look around up there. You also don't need... This reward's a bit of a weird one, because you don't actually need to do any of the quests to actually get the reward. But, if you want to actually have a reason to get the reward, it makes sense to do all this, so... I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do it the authentic way. Now, let's head up this way and look for some, uh, what's it called? Luminous Stone. Since I'm pretty sure there's a fair bit up here somewhere. Just around the place. And it might give me a good vantage point for looking for things. Speaking of looking for things, I saw, uh, there was a, a shrine in one of the cutscenes when we finished up for Ruta. Which I could go get since it just showed it to me. But I'm gonna wait a little bit because I'm trying to do other things at the moment. Which I feel like are just a little bit more important than shrines at the moment. Even though shrines are more important than anything else since they actually give progress. But I wanna do side quests and other things. For some reason, I don't normally do those things, but this time I am. For the sake of getting everything, I suppose. This specific quest, though, is something I want to do for its reward. Let's head up here. There's certainly a lot of area to cover. But I haven't really seen anything up here so far, which is surprising, which I, because I thought there was more up here. Um, am I just wrong? No, I'm not. There's, there's stuff over here. There's a fair bit of stuff over here, actually. Let me just carefully drop in. I don't think I've taken a picture of these yet. No, it's gone. Oh, that's a shame. Hello, Choo Choo. She's gonna slam you with that. And let me figure out what I'm doing up here. There's a lot of trees to cut down if we needed sticks or uh, wood for stuff. But I think I'm alright. I'm sure there's more up here than just the trees. Why am I slipping? Oh my goodness, did it just start raining? It just started raining. I think you can only climb... You just can't jump when it's raining. Oh my goodness, I'm not going to make it though. Oh my goodness, game. It says it's going to be sunny. Why does it rain when it says it's sunny? Okay. Let's go up this way. Pretty sure the Luma Stones are more over this way anyway. This is where I remember the getting them at least. Somewhere. Please don't make me wrong. What does it want me to take? It wants me to take things. Well, it wants those dragonflies. I also think there's a few enemies up here, so I might need to be careful. But it's probably not going to be too bad. Nothing I can't handle. Right? Maybe. Probably. We've seen a fair bit of enemy types now. Am I just really this wrong? I'm so sure. Maybe they're on top of stuff and not like around the edges. Also the rain stopped, so that's nice. I'm, I'm so confused at what's happening right now. How about I be smart about this and actually change my target to Luminous Stone Deposit? Because that makes sense. And it also shows what materials you can get from deposit. So, Luminous Stone Deposit gets Luminous Stone and Flint. Our rare ore is Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, Amber, Topaz, and Flint. And regular, with lower chances of some of the better stuff, has Ruby, Diamond, Amber, Amber Sapphire, Topaz, Opal, Rock Salt, and Flint. So, really, you can just get anything from anywhere. But you just need to be luckier. Okay. Something over this way. Somewhere. It doesn't tell you where... Like... Which direction, like, vertically it is, but... Anyway, there's an enemy over there. My bow's broken! Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes! Let me switch my weapon out. Oh, 
Get him. Get him. Please. Thank you. Enhanced Lizal Spear. Judging by the uh, the harpoon-like spearhead of this Lizalfos uh, made spear, the Lizalfos use it for fishing as well as combat. Try not to get caught on the wrong end of its barbs. There we go. Let's take a picture of that. Nope. No. Please, thank you. There we go. Take those monster parts. And where is this thing? It's not over there, it's just up. Probably around this corner or something. It's just further up, oh my goodness. How far up? Must be getting close. It's got a good view from up here. Okay, over this way. I remember this area, so... I'm feeling lucky. There we go. Let's hit that. Living a stone, and I got two, so that's pretty good. Basically half of what I need. Hello! How are you going today? It's been a, it's been a while. How's the, how's the family? I'll see you another time. Catch, I just... Now's not the time for catching up. I'm running. Oh, there's more. There's a lot of strong enemies up here. Everything's fine. I need more Luminous Stone. Luminous Stone! Good run! We can actually just teleport away from this if we need to, so... I'm not too concerned. But I am trying... To move around a little bit, look at things. We definitely have enough luminous stone now. I still don't know where all of the uh, things are. The things I'm supposed to be reading. Anyway, another Korok. Hopefully, some of these ones around the edges aren't gonna make make tracking them a problem, which they already have probably. Although that, that this over here looks interesting. We'll have to mark a few shrines. That one there. And... That one there. But also... That one there. Just gonna look around a bit. Quite a few areas we aren't gonna go to for a little bit. But we've marked a few more shrines down, which is what's in really... What's, what's really important here are the shrines. So... Considering every four is a extra heart or stamina. But anyway, let me turn off my Shika sensor for the moment. Since that's not what I'm trying to do. Let's um let's head over this way. Oh I see that. I see that. Hearty radish, very nice. For restores are very overpowered. Let's head this way, I suppose. And see if I can actually find what I'm looking for. One day. Just one day. No more, no less. This is a very weird spot to be exploring. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Not the normal... Not a very normal spot to be exploring. Over here is pretty good, though. Some ruins and all that. Some motion in the water. Now, I think I'm just going to abandon exploring up here since I've already got the Luminous Stones that I need. I don't think there are any tablets up here. But we might be able to see where to go from up here. Maybe. Very maybe. I wonder if there's one way over that, that way. Over by the um, other end of the lake. Can't really see from here, but maybe if I zoom in. Just in hearts a whole lot. In fact, there might be actually some over here on these waterfalls around here somewhere. Grace is ready. That happens at every time that Mitha's Grace is recovers, so get used to hearing that at this point, since I'm going to die a lot. Let me see. Is there anything over there? I'm going to head over there at some point. But for now, I'm just going to keep going downstream, I suppose. Heading to Zora's Domain. There's a lot of area to explore. 
and exploring, moving is a bit slow. It could be faster. It's not a fault on the game, it's just that I'm not quite there yet. I could be using potions, but I still don't think it's worth it with the amount of stamina that we have. Anyway, now that we're back in the domain, let's go to the person who wanted uh, stuff. You know, the stuff. You know the stuff. I know you know the stuff. Yes, hello. Mm -hmm. Did you need something from me? Here are the stones. Ooh. Thank you. You are really giving me ten luminous stones. In that case, please excuse me while I count them. Mm. And a one. Ooh. And a two. Oh. And a three. Ooh. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh my, you've really brought all ten. Thank you. I will happily take Luminous Stones from you. Oh, that's right. I must reward you. We get a diamond from that. The most precious gem one can find in Hyrule. Its signature sparkle has charmed Hyruleans for generations. As such, it has sold for a very high price since ancient times. <laughs> and what's more, I'll give you an e one extra as a bonus. Oh wow, that's so generous! You're a lifesaver, truly. Oh. If you ever find yourself in possession of ten numerous stones in the future, I hope you'll bring them to me. But if that happens, know that I'll only be able to give you one diamond for them. I would accept. I would be honored if you would accept it when it, when the time comes. So we can just redo this as many times as long as we have luminous stones and get more and more diamond, which is a little bit overpowered if we wanted to get money. But I think we're all right for now. But anyway, with that, that is it for this episode of the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.